Welcome back to another North Carolina Mountain Adventure shooting video. As you can see, we're back out here at a friend's house up in the mountain. It gave me permission to shoot. Just beautiful location. And this is what we're shooting today. Diamondback AR-15, chambered in 5.56, topped with the Vortex Striker Fire 2 red dot. We're going to be shooting the 62 grain green tip M82. Next, we've got my Diamondback 308 with a center fire 20 by 50 illuminated reticle that I bought at Walmart. Really good scope. Video coming on that. And we're going to be shooting the Tula 150 grain full metal jackets. Then we got my Savage Axis. This 110 precision 30-06 it's topped with a center fire uh, Walmart scope that is 3 by 12 by 44 I put a muzzle brake on it I'll leave a description about the muzzle brake I don't remember what I bought and for this one we're going to be shooting 180 grain uh, soft point hunting round and then I got my beast which is my Ruger Precision chambered in 338 Lapua those are 275 grain bulk tail soft point and it is topped with a Vortex Diamondback 6x24x50 by by now let me go show you what we're going to shoot today so this is what we're shooting. I'm going for the green tip, 5.56, five, the 308, the 30-06, the 338 Lapua. Those are a quarter inch thick, four inch wide, 12 inch tall, mild steel, and I have four of them. How many do you think it'll go through? Leave your comments down below and let's find out. First up, the AR-15 556 green chip. Helps if you load it. Third time strong. Now, my 308 with the Tula 150 grain full metal jacket versus mild steel. So we're going to take another shot because my scope is off a little bit to the left. So let's try this again. Now for the 30 out six.
Now for the big boy. Shooting a 275 grain boat tail soft point. Gotta love that sound. Gotta love it. So here's what we got. We got the 556 five, green tip, went through one, stopped on the second one. There's the steel core. Right there. That's kind of cool. The 308 first shot was high or low left. There it is on the second plate. 308 on the second shot hit a little high left. And the projectile stopped right there. It's actually embedded in the second plate. Kind of cool. 30-06 on top. It was supposed to go there. 30-06 is way high. 30-06 stopped on the second. Made a huge bulge on the back. And there's the projectile stuck in there. Now the 338 Lapua, which hit right there, which it's shooting, I had to shoot for that one because that one was taken. So it went through one, went through two, and stopped on the third. I took another shot with the 338, went through the two plates that was left, which is right here, and then right there. That was the second plate it came out of on the second shot. So there we have it. Mild steel, I think, is a little tougher than what people gave credit for. Well, that concludes another video here at North Carolina Mountain Adventures, and now we have our answer. I appreciate you stopping by, watching the video. If you're not subscribed, you gotta ask yourself why not. Make sure you click the bell for notifications, that way you get notified whenever I upload another video. As always, eyes open, no fear, stay safe out there.